So welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at Ted Race's The Deadly Woods, The Battle of the Bulge from Revolution Games. Now, this is a two-player uh, operational war game, um, World War II war game. Uh, we'll, we'll start it. It's a bulge game, it says in the title. Uh, so if you've played any bulge games, a lot of this will be somewhat familiar to you from the layout and look and what you're trying to do. Uh, if you haven't played any bulge games, if you're new to wargaming, this is going to be part of the Arden Offensive in 1944 as the last kind of German big counterattack to try and do who knows what they were trying to do, um, even though it was all kind of uh, a little bit mad at that point. But uh, this uses the same system that GMT publishes in Ted Race's The Dark Valley, The Dark Summer, um, The Dark Sands, so that dark system. He designed a bulge game in that system. It is a one-mapper, uh, but GMT basically couldn't squeeze it in uh, to their scheduling, and Revolution were like, yes, please, let's put this out, and so they did. So I'm very excited to play this because I already know the system. And if you've not played Ted Race's Dark System, I would highly recommend it because it is a chip-pull system, so it's great for solo play, uh, and also it just, it just keeps things uh, very interesting while still being, a, all things considered, a, a nice kind of beefy um, Hex Encounter war game that is eminently playable. Uh, I, f I find this system uh, very enjoyable and, uh, and reasonably easy to use. So uh, that's what we're getting out of this. So let's crack it open. So, The Deadly Woods. This is just a little front cover. And this is important to know because you can get a folio version of this. And this would be the front cover of the folio, and on the back of it is one of the play aids. Uh, but this is the box version, so th they just kind of put it in there for you as a nice little play aid that goes through all of the different bits and pieces of, of the different types of units that you've got going on, and then how to read the reinforcement track. So then we have the rules, uh, rules of play. Uh, these are very, uh, quite a traditional um, revolution games rule book, and what I mean by that is they use a very distinctive font, and I, f I think their rule books are um, spaced out nicely, where, sure, this is actually, you know, a, a bunch of rules, 17, 18, 19, 20 odd pages of rules, but a lot of other war games have much smaller font and much tightly packed, much more tightly packed font. So, it actually, you read through this much quicker than you would on other ones. And I know there's not a whole ton of diagrams in here, but I've, the system itself is A, well worth it, and B, not that complicated, uh, all things considered. Uh, this being a one-mapper, I probably would, having not played it, recommend it as a good kind of starter war game. If you wanted to kind of take a step into war gaming, you want something a bit beefy, a bit meaty, and like really get into hex and counter war gaming, you could do a lot worse than this. There's a very small, like this is a five millimeter, tiny little dice, a blue dice. Again, if you get in the folio edition, that's kind of what you would expect. A couple of play aids, these are identical. So on here we have our CRT uh, for odds based combat, and then a big terrain effects chart. The terrain effects chart is not pictorial on the play aid, it's just kind of words, but there's a key on the map, I believe. And on the back here we have our Action Chit Summary. Uh, and this is important because this is a chip pull game, like we'd said, and you're going to put a bunch of these things in there, and when they're play pulled, um, you're going to do what they say, and then as a quick reference, when you're learning the game, it tells you, this is what you do with that particular chit. So, so that there's no long-term confusion with it. Like, you can always reference you don't have to go back to the rule book. This stuff, I very much appreciate that. And again, it's kind of a hallmark of this uh, of this particular series. So, there's one of the maps. I know I said it was a, a one mapper. And that's the map. We're gonna look at those separately and why they are so very cool. Uh, that's what's in the box. So, we got the two sheets of counters. First sheet of counters, kind of exactly what you might expect. All the gray German units and all the green allied units. Uh, I think most of which are, these are all American units. 
uh, but then there's a whole bunch more, and then there's also some uh, British from uh, 30 core and beyond. But that's these are the counters. Uh, they're fairly large, all things considered, uh, and they are very clear and very clean. This is a very clean looking counter. It's very easy to immediately see and adjudicate on those very bold numbers, uh, the combat values and movement values. So I appreciate, uh, I've always liked Legion War Games. I think their counters are eminently readable and usable, which I, I just think is a huge boon. These are some of those um, chits that go in the chip pull uh, cup. So are these, so when you pull those, hey, this guy gets to activate, or this, you can pick one to do a move, that kind of a thing. And like any good bulge game, you're going to be destroying bridges or building the bridges back again. So they've got stuff for that too. But that's the, you get one and a half sheets of counters with those. And then we're going to look at uh, the maps. So, the fun stuff. Do I have it the right way around? I do, that was miraculous. So, here's the map. This is what we got going on. It's your, your very uh, standard <laughs> bulge map. Lots of green, lots of white. And we have all of these very strong dug-in um, German positions and fortifications that they're going to occupy, and it's them pushing out this way and trying to run off the edge of the map. That's what they're going to be doing. Um, you've got all of your um, hallmarks uh, of, uh, of what you might expect in a bulge game. You've got your um, massive crossroads in Bastogne. You're going to have 30 core coming down here. You're going to have 101st Airborne racing up to try and occupy here. And you'll have some, uh, for some strong pushes, and you'll probably end up with some very tough meat grinders. You'll end up with an encirclement down here, most likely. All those kinds of things that you are going to enjoy are going to be in this. Uh, we do have a turn track down here, so we've got ourselves 12 turns that we're going to play on. We have an action round track. So the different actions, when you pull the chits, you put it on the action round track, it's partly so that you can remember the story of the thing, of the turn, but also just as help as a mnemonic. And then German victory point track, they have to end the game with five victory points, it looks like, to win, which is pretty gross. But yeah, here's the little terrain key, which we're going to use to reference on that play eight that was not pictorial. And why I talk about the cool part of this map is because there is... A setup map. I just think this is a really neat way to do this. Uh, there's just a big pictorial setup key and it's gonna tell you kind of what goes where and why. And you don't often see something like this. A lot of times you get it in a big old listed variant. Um, and I think this might give us options of how we set up our forces and where, uh, and that that might end up being a surprise, which would be extremely cool if that was the case. So you don't quite know what you're going up against in certain areas, or you might overload somewhere to faint. That'd be really neat. But uh, when I saw this, I'm like, ooh, I don't. I haven't read the rules on what this is exactly, but I think the possibilities of it are very, very intriguing. But Really, really nice looking map. I think the map's done by Charles Keebler, who does a lot of revolution stuff, but I, I, I really like it. Again, generally speaking, pretty clear and pretty clean. Love the counters. I love this system. And a one map bulge game, if I'm gonna play a bulge game, some of these smaller ones are just very playable and very enjoyable. This is an excellent system that I can attest to, and I would presume and hope that this is another great title in this line. But yes, Deadly Woods from Revolution Games. Check it out if this is something you're interested in. I appreciate you very much for tuning in. I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com.